welcome to a new vlog. We are halfway up a mountain, parked up on the wrong side of the road, and we're awaiting a tow truck. How on earth have we ended up in this situation? We are meeting up with some fellow van lifers and YouTubers. Uh, see if you can guess who it might be. They're super fun. Uh, they've also been travelling around Europe in their van. And they've been having a bit of bad luck recently. They have been having a bit of bad luck recently. Hopefully we can give them a little bit of positive injection of love. We were originally going to meet them in Brasov, but they are stuck where they are. And it's actually a three and a quarter hour drive from where we are. I'm really excited um, to meet our friends. I say our friends. I mean, it's weird because we've never met them before, but I feel like they're our friends. I hope we get on. Eek. I see a UK Reg van. <laughs> Sing that's them! Oh, Hello! Hello. <laughs> 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 Look who we found in Romania! <laughs> Woohoo! Very smudgy or not? Yeah, I've been using Vaseline on the journey actually, yeah, I should probably yeah. wipe that. Nice. We're here with chapter by chapter, Fili and Kili, and uh, it's turned into a rescue mission. Their van has broken down, it is out of action it is in the garage they're gonna have to come and stay with us we got visitors I come mean, on you, in you would think this is for one night <laughs> i love it is, is it your is your tent in there as well or are you just gonna sleep in here that's our, that's our camping bag. camping bag this is our go bag hey guys we're we're lost in transylvania we're lost in transit oh <laughs> Is there anybody in here who'd like a coffee? Hello! <laughs> I love you so much. It's actually really nice, yeah, having a little break from the van, being out here. Is it, is it black out in there? Oh my word, just gonna get, come in! Yeah! Oh wait, can I get my coffee? Let's get coffee! My name's Isabel and I turned for swim. <laughs> As you know, we love a mushroom forage. We're confident enough Just to take our friends along she's, with our mushrooms. She's actually this goofy in real life. <laughs> like, this is how she gets on. Like, a nod, yeah, a nod. Be yeah. careful, it catches on, the <laughs> nodding. We're going to show these two how to find a mushroom or two. And I'm going to say it now, we're not going home empty-handed. We're going to be eating mushrooms for breakfast. You better not kill us. I'm armed with my basket and mushroom knife and we're taking Phil and Keely mushroom foraging. It's their first time foraging. But we are actually coming. Oh my god. <laughs> Checking out the woods. Checking out the woods. Checking out the woods. It looks really fresh as well. Yeah, There's more up there. You said, what? Checking out the woods? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we've learned so much and we've only been together for like a day. <laughs> I've just been riding in the back. Uh, we had, we had to go pick up those guys, try to see their van, but unfortunately it's not ready yet. They've got to wait another day. So we, we've just driven somewhere. I've got no idea where we are. La Bamba's office is open for business. Friday <laughs> and it's, it's hot on the floors today. Things are heating up. We've got three laptops on the go. We've got coffees coming through. I'm the scammerous assistant and I'm bringing the drinks and the banner and the good times. Thanks. Casa de Lost in Transit. <laughs> de la Bamba. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm freaking loving this setup. This is so fun. I could not ask cool. I'm cooking these editors a fajita party tonight. We've got a whole real spread. I hope they're hungry. Kidney beans, tomatoes, onions, garlic. We've got rice, cheese, salad, peppers, and broccoli. And the star of the show is Chicken of the Woods, which we foraged earlier today. Something about Chicken of the Woods is we've just worked out that, was it? Four there's a 4% chance of us being allergic to chicken in the woods. Some people are and they get a bit of a stomach ache, gas, gastric problems. That's going to be fun in the van. 24 hours later at La Bamba's office and it's still, we're going flat out here. Flat out. News free beavers have been hustling. Beavers? Hustling. <laughs> I've been called worse. <laughs> They've been beavering away and I've been feeding and supplying the coffee. Oh, you've been so good. <laughs> it has been epic. No, yeah. Honestly, hijack for one second. These guys are amazing. Oh. Honestly. You make me cry. Of the most so, days. as you know, our van has broken down and we would not have survived the past few days without you guys. I'm sorry, but Luckily, we've got quite a big desk in our van so we can all edit at the same time yeah. next to each other. 
and we've been basically in there editing for the last couple of days but the, those guys have been sleeping uh, in the tent. The poor van Martha is still in the garage but we just heard that it's ready to collect. Right come on in here then they've got these mats, two sleeping bags, come on in. I love it, it's like camping. It's exactly like camping. <laughs> I'm excited to convoy like properly yeah, yeah, yeah. and like host you guys as well. We need to go and get some cash out because um, breakdowns aren't free. <laughs> do you need the keys? Um, what do you reckon? <laughs> We've come to the mechanics. That's Martha. So these are from his garden. Woo! They're for us now. His garden's close by. Oh uh, yeah. More. Oh good, good. We, we got a de more. tomato dealer. <laughs> yeah, tomato dealer, exactly. He g gives you a few to get you hooked. <laughs> <laughs> clean? Did he clean? <laughs> <laughs> it feels good. Okay. Let's go sort this man out. He's in Texan. What's your mess? Sweet. Have you drank some brandy? For me? Yes, yeah, oh. For tonight. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. much. How good is that? <laughs> <laughs> We're sweet. We've got some, got some club brandy, baby. That's so good. That's one of the two. What is this Aww. one? More. Oh. To, to drink, drink. To drink, to drink. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Much a mess. Much a mess. Great. <laughs> <That's some drinks. laughs> this could be petrol for all I know. <laughs> oh my God, that smells like petrol. Doesn't it? I don't think we should drink that. <laughs> I don't think we should drink that, guys. Ooh, I'm so happy for those guys to get their van back. I can't imagine how stressful it must be to not have your van. And yeah, it's our home. So it's, it is really stressful when things go wrong. Right, we, this is a bit of a rogue one, but we are, we've read on part tonight that this garage fills up your gas canister for you, your camping gas canister, and it's got all the adapters and everything. Woohoo! <laughs> Thought we weren't gonna be able to get gas till like Greece. Well, guys, that was an absolute success. That was amazing. I'm so, I'm really shocked that that worked. Definitely a bit of an illegal job, but hey ho, great, really gra glad to have got some camping gas. life in boxes erasing the memory so you won't notice i'm taking the time to focus you're by yourself i'm by myself Wish I could... our van's on fire <laughs> Okay. I am. Um, they've they've got the flames out. It's not on fire anymore. Um, I can't do this anymore. We were just driving a little convoy up this mountain road. Then we lose them. We get a few missed calls. We come back to find them, and their van is literally smoking. We stop. Suddenly, Keely's like, "There's a flame. We need to get all of our stuff out." So we're getting all the valuables out of the van. The van is literally on fire. <laughs> They're trying to run for our fire extinguisher, extinguishing the fire. And here we are now, the fire is extinguished. The van is not gonna be turned back on until we've got help. So we're just waiting on this sheer mountain road for help. I mean, when you explain it, it sounds super dramatic. I mean, it is dramatic. It is, yeah. <laughs> They're like, come for a convoy, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> what have we done? We've like cursed you. You have to check out their video for the full story. Oh, if, you, if, you, if you wouldn't laugh, you'd cry. Yeah. Keep, I've keep done laughing. both. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're waiting for the pickup. We're about three hours into our wait, and we've got, I think, two more hours to go. We are being as safe as possible. We have high vis vest, we've got like four triangles out. And we have lights and stuff prepared for when it gets dark. <laughs> yeah, and we've got our signal man. We made us have quite a home. We've got a little climbing mat on the side of the road. We're eating burritos. Just waiting for the mechanic to arrive. This has been a pretty crazy week um, and it is continuing. Keep taking my time through boxes and lights. We were so good at flying, but we can't keep flying. We keep getting stuck on the You're right, Tom? Yeah, just replying to some YouTube comments. Our video's just gone live. Sat in the middle of the road. <laughs> Tow truck's arrived. 
Mm, we're just trying to figure out how to communicate because we can't speak any Romanian and they can't speak that much English. Um, but they've come to save us. It's been about seven hours since that we broke down. Well, these guys broke down, so we're very glad to see our saviors. We're worried that the brakes are fail- will f- aren't going to work because they lost all their brake fluid earlier, which we think is what caused the fire. We're going to roll Martha onto the back here now and hope that gravity does its magic and she doesn't just like roll into everyone. So I'm really pleased for those guys that the trucks finally arrived and they go on. Uh, it's been a bit of a crazy evening and we've been here for, I don't know, like six, six hours. hours. So uh, there's still, it's gonna be another couple hours till we get to a garage and even then, we're not really sure what's going to happen, so... What a day. It really didn't end how we expected. We literally just... We, it's not over yet. I mean, it's not over yet. It's really not over yet. I'm just so glad that these guys aren't alone because I'm not saying, like, we are big saviours, but without, like, without any moral boost, like, they would be in a really I mean, bad place. Yeah. It's sad enough breaking down, but when it's your home and your safe place where you live... And you're the second time this week. And the second time this week, it's a big blow. We're finally back in Orestier, where we were (laughs) three days ago, where we first met Philly and Keely. And we are really tired. It's now two in the morning and we've just got the van off the tow truck. We're parked up right outside the garage. We're just going to sleep here in our vans tonight. Luckily, those guys can still sleep in their van, even though it's not drivable. We didn't get to sleep till about half two last night, so we managed to sleep in a bit this morning. So this is their van. There, there they are. While we're parked up here on the side of the road, I've just realised that we still haven't told you about our plans for <laughs> our travelling that we were talking about last week. After we filmed that video, the day after, we were coming up with lots of ideas, and on the spur of the moment, we booked tickets. It's half 11 at night we've had an exciting evening of planning we just want a bit of a change up from the van and it's just a pause in van life we're coming back to it anyway we want to go somewhere that's very cheap the criteria is it's got to be cheap the flights have got to be cheap um (laughs) but mainly cheap 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 cheap, cheap. cheap. (laughs) mainly mainly it's got to be cheap when we're there like cheap food cheap accommodation we came up with this plan to go backpacking yesterday and we decided that maybe we should look at going to Nepal uh, about three hours ago. <laughs> but yeah, we've been looking at Nepal and, and the more and more we Tom, me and Tom look at it, the more we are convinced it is perfect for us. Like, it looks incredible and I'm so excited. See, and we found pretty cheap flights. We're hoping to go for about eight to ten weeks. We haven't decided yet. Ah! <sighs> we're so soon, we're going so soon. <laughs> Wow, we haven't got anything prepared. I've got to ref- ref- verify it in the app. <laughs> oh my god. I've approved the payment. It's official. We are going to Nepal <laughs> in about one week. We're going to be going for about two months. Yeah, over two Even months. more than two months, like six weeks. That's not... No. <laughs> ten weeks. Ten weeks. Okay. I think we're going for about ten weeks. We are off to Kathmandu. We're leaving the van here in Romania and we're going to be leaving this weekend. So we have three full days left in Romania. Then we'll be flying to Nepal. Um, We'll be there for a while and then we'll be flying back to Romania and coming back into the van, all refreshed, rejuvenated and ready for van life again. It's not that we are giving up van life completely. We absolutely love van life. We just want to do something different for a little bit. Um, and variety is the spice of life and all that. What's going on? Okay, so he's pretty certain that it's the clutch pump receiver thing. He's like, it's definitely not the clutch, but if that jams, then it will like put pressure and break the pipe. So he thinks that's what's happened. He says he doesn't think he needs to do any more tests or look at the van. He's certain that's what it is. So he's ordered those parts. They'll be here tomorrow. And he said, that we look very hungry, so he's gonna bring us some tomatoes. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> God, it was like an out of body experience. <laughs> You're just like, like, I'm just sitting shut. So we sat in the car park. <laughs> And a, a few different people have come up and asked for teas or coffees because they think we're a little shop on the side of the road. 
today's one of those days where, to be honest, it's all been a little bit much um, over the last few days for everybody, mainly Philly and Keeley. Their van has just been, it's just been so, it's been really traumatic for them. Like they've literally thought their van was going up in flames and they had to put all their stuff in our van because they thought they were going to lose their home and everything. Uh. Mm. Mm. It's going to be another case of four in a van. Yes. We wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> We've got our campers have just arrived. Literally like deja vu. And then we've got our tent ready for round two. Mm. That's what it is. That's where it's come from. Tom loves me very much. Yes, I do. <laughs> we are going to Nepal in about three days and <laughs> we, <laughs> we this week has been absolutely crazy. There's been two breakdowns, we've been like four in a van and we haven't I actually had time to even process it. Like I, because mm. we booked the flights the night before we met up with these guys. Yeah. So literally, since we booked the flights, and then in that morning we drove to meet these guys in the garage, and it's just been an absolutely crazy. It's journey. getting dark now, and we're having a our fresco dinner. I'm just made us a spag bowl. Oh, wow, look at that steam. Look how much food there is. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. This is a classic van life situation where we and Tom only have two forks, and these guys we forgot to ask them to bring their forks, so we've got. Philly's eating with a teaspoon, I'm eating with a big spoon. <laughs> I'm literally like shoveling it in my mouth. Oh, so am I feel mine. I've, I've got the teaspoon now and I'm literally just scooping it with the teaspoon onto the bread. <laughs> wow, we've been having so much fun with these guys, we didn't realise it's, <laughs> it's 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, van life party! You know, like, it's like midnight and it's like, wait, what? <laughs> it's 3 a.m. We've just been sat here chatting. You have the same toothbrush as us. Oh, did you, were you about to brush your teeth with my yeah, toothbrush? Yeah. I've been little... using their toothbrush for days. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll catch you next time for a big update on what we've been up to, I guess. Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. Bye! I love you guys. I love you. Good night. We're going to have the Keeley special tofu scramble. Oh, yeah. We need a name for you. Because I'm the broccoli wizard. Keeley's the tofu... Oh. <laughs> <laughs>